Hello and welcome to another video about the P-Pico effects device. Mm -hmm. You've seen since the last video the device got a little bit bigger and more professional looking. Mm -hmm. um, it now has three real foot switches and on the back side you see it has a guitar input, microphone input. I'm demonstrating it's going to be more a functional video, not so much sound demo. And then stereo outs balanced. Um, this is an aux input and this is a headphone jack. Besides, on the side, there's 12 volt power supply and most importantly on the front there's even a USB connection. It's a micro USB from the Raspberry Pi Pico which serves to update the firmware. So, now let's go through the changes since the last video. I quite worked on the user interface basically. Now you can save presets, organize them in banks of three. Now I have bank zero activated, which uh, has a PM called AMP loaded. You can change the name and with the press of a foot switch, you can change from one preset to another. And as usual for these kind of effects device, when you press two buttons at once, it changes the bank. And as long as there is no preset recorded, it shows a default name of bank name and program name. And of course, once you have a preset, you can also edit it. Let's start with this one. You go to enter, then this should be a, a pencil for editing. You can also access some very basic system settings and also update the firmware. But let's edit this preset and choose a program first which we want to have our preset based on. Let's choose a delay, for instance. So, and once we've selected the program, we can change the LED color for our program. We have three colors available, red and green, and red and green mixed, which becomes yellow. So let's say we put, for this modulation stuff, I usually put green, and then we go no, I don't want to, but we can already save it. It's good, now let's get back to edit. And then we can edit the parameter of our effect. Actually in preset mode, these analog knobs, they don't have much use. I'm not really sure how I want to. Of course, you can still, I can still access the live mode, which already existed in the previous version of the PPK effect, but um, so far, let's continue to work with the presets. We can edit the parameters. Of course, we can set the delay time to some value. Let's say like this, some feedback to have a nice effect. And of course, some mix. Let's put it quite intensely halfway through. Um, and we go back and then we can also edit the name. This is the, usually the dialogue where you always fail. But this is just uh, how I come up with. So you, with the press of a button, you can change the position of the text you want to edit. And when you press enter again, you can choose. Um, you can change the letter. Let's put delay. takes a while, but it's, I think it's usually clumsy in this kind of interfaces. But anyways, um, we're almost done. <laughs> so, when you go to OK, we can take the name. Of course, now I want to save it and just to demonstrate, to demonstrate, to demonstrate, to demonstrate. This is our delay, delay effect. effect. Delay effect. Okay, and we we'll switch bank. We can go back to the amped mode, which sounds like this, and just you just show you how how uh, these presets sound. I still have to fight. I still have some background noise going on especially from the guitar input, but I'm going to show you in the settings. I disabled it on the software side. And, well, this is an amped preset, which can be used um, for playing like electric sounding 
harmonic and stuff. This is a compressed, uh, just a compressor set for speaking or for singing, whatever. And on the first third part, I have a usual a reverb effect. Yeah, I think this already con concludes it mostly. I just show you the settings page once again. So on the settings page, you can do very basic things. It's basically accessing the, the audio codec chip. You can disable and enable the inputs and outputs. Here I can disable the microphone if I want. Disable the, in the instrument input. And also set the output volume. This is one of the boxes. It takes quite a few rotation to turn down the volume, to turn up again. So I think, yes, it's still working. Yeah, that's about it. Sometimes the, these buttons are a bit laggy, but this is not a software problem. It's really hardware. It's quite difficult to find buttons which are really, which are not too expensive and have good touch. Of course, once you when you're in this mode, you can also change the preset using the rotary button. This is yeah, that's more or less it. Um, check out the GitHub account if you need some more information or don't hesitate to ask questions. Um, I try to read the comments and answer them uh, when you post them. Post it to the video below. And yeah, this is more or less it.